The political news cycle is fast, and keeping up can be overwhelming. Trying to find differing perspectives worth your time is even harder. That's why we have scoured the internet for political writing from the right and left that you might not have seen. Has this series exposed you to new ideas? Tell us how. Email us at our picks at nytimes.com. 4. An archive of all the partisan writing roundups. Check out our picks. From the right Senator Al Franken of Minnesota on Capitol Hill on Thursday. Zach Gibson for the new. York Times Christine Flowers in the Philadelphia Daily News. I'm sorry Franken folded. Ms. Flowers is as conservative as they come, but in this case, she's decided to come to the defense of Senator Al Franken, Democrat of Minnesota. She sees his resignation as a sign that the movement to call out and expel UAL harassers, the Metu movement, has gotten out of control. The movement, she asserts, mixes all sorts of conduct together and retroactively stigmatizing acts that, until the social media age, were considered boorish and brutish but not capital offenses. Republicans who are reveling in Mr. Franken's resignation, she warns, are falling victim to agitprop and exaggeration just because the, the other guy's bull is getting gored. Read more. Underscore 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 Rich Lowry in National Review. Surely, the state of Minnesota can come up with someone to occupy one of its two Senate seats who hasn't treated people this way and been dishonest about it, Mr. Lowry says he doesn't buy Mr. Franken's apology during his resignation speech. Whether he is innocent, as the senator claims, Mr. Lowry writes, then he shouldn't resign. After all, a duly elected senator wrongly accused owes it to himself and his constituents to fight on. Read more, underscore 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 George Newmer in American Spectator, the Democrat saw an opportunity for some cost-free moral posturing. Franken was doing the right thing, they said. But how is he doing the right thing if he continues to deny the charges? Add Mr. New Mayor to the growing list of writers from the right who said they were dissatisfied with Mr. Franken's apology on Thursday. According to Mr. New Mayor, Mr. Franken's body language during his speech was that of a hapless customer handed another patron's bill. In this case, the unpaid bill was that of President Bill Clinton. Read more. Underscore 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 sign up for the Metu Moment newsletter and get the latest news and insights on the UAL harassment scandals roiling our society. Underscore 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 from the left Joe and Walsh in the nation. I would like to see Franken's departure be not just another Metu moment but a long delayed Trump 2 moment, though Ms. Walsh initially said that she did not think that Mr. Franken should resign from his seat in the Senate, she now sees his departure as a political opportunity. She's referring, of course, to Democrats using that momentum to hold hearings about accusations of UAL misconduct by President Trump. And while she says she is a realist about the effect that the minority party can have with such hearings, she nonetheless suggests that Democrats need to be more aggressive with Mr. Trump. For one, she argues that it would encourage demoralized progressives to bring Mr. Trump to public account. Read more, underscore 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 Paul Waldman in the week, who survives this kind of scandal. The ones that are the least repentant, and often, the most guilty, Thursday's events follow a depressing pattern when it comes to political scandals, Mr. Waldman says. Those who are accused of harassment but stand their ground are rarely held to account by their own parties. He adds, no matter what you did, there's a good chance you'll win. Read more, underscore 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 Kate Harding in the Washington Post. I don't believe resigning from his position is the only possible consequence, or the one that's best for American women. In November, when she wrote this commentary, Ms. Harding argued that Mr. Franken should not resign. She acknowledged that the position might seem strange to readers who know her as a feminist and an author of the book Nasty Women Feminism, Resistance, and Revolution in Trump's America. However, she says she is worried about setting a precedent where, in the interest of demonstrating our party's solidarity with harassed and abused women, we are only going to drain the swamp of people who, however flawed, still regularly vote to protect women's rights and freedoms.
While the Minnesota seat that Mr. Franken is vacating will most likely be filled by another Democrat, Ms. Harding worries about what will happen the next time a Democrat is asked to step down in a less secure seat. Read more, underscore, 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 underscore. Finally, from the center, Roy S. Moore spoke at a campaign rally on Tuesday. In Fairhope, a la Bryn Anderson Associated Press, Jonathan Bernstein and Bloomberg, it's hard to imagine any voter in Alabama who would have voted for Moore without the revelations about his behavior who then pulls back from supporting Democrat Doug Jones because Democrats weren't tough enough on Franken, Mr. Bernstein says he isn't so sure that Democrats have won a vital political cudgel in forcing Mr. Franken to resign. He's not sure that holding Mr. Franken to account will move any Alabama voters away from voting for the Republican candidate, Roy S. Moore. What will be interesting too, however, is what will happen to Justice Clarence Thomas, who also once faced accusations of UAL harassment. Mr. Bernstein points out that, if he were to retire from the court, Trump would be able to nominate a much younger replacement who is at least as reliable a vote for Republican priorities. Read more, underscore, 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 Chris Saliza. In CNN, Franken is simultaneously saying that he believes the women who have accused him have a right to be heard while also making very clear that he is not admitting he had done the things they alleged. There was nothing apologetic about Mr. Franken's resignation, Mr. Saliza writes. The senator's remarks on Thursday, Mr. Saliza notes, clearly indicate that he just does not believe he is guilty. Read more, underscore, 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 want the partisan writing roundup in your inbox. Sign up for the morning briefing newsletter or the What We're Reading newsletter. Have thoughts about this collection? Email feedback to our picks at nytimes.com. Correction December 8, 2017 An earlier version of this article referred incorrectly to the author of an article in the Washington Post. The author, Kate Harding, is a woman.